Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. There we go. Shuri, we cannot do that. Since yesterday, we're bringing ourselves in really weird situations. Oh my god, that's not funny. It is really scary here. There's just a guy with a gun. Good morning, guys. Welcome to this new daily vlog here in India. Today is actually our last day that we are here in India. We're gonna fly tonight to Kuala Lumpur. We're gonna stay there for a few nights. We are a little bit sad that it's over, but it's also all fine. Like, I'm happy to go back to Bali soon. I really, really love Bali, but India really has a place in my heart. I really, really fell in love with it. But now it is time. We packed all our bags. Here are the bags. And it is time. It is time to it say is. goodbye. Yeah. But it's not over yet. We're gonna go to a spice market. We're gonna have some good breakfast and I'm gonna show you, of course, everything again today. But first it's time to bring our bags downstairs to the reception. We are leaving our bags here at the reception. And now it is time to get a tuk-tuk and we're gonna go to a really nice breakfast place. We are now walking to a tuk-tuk and everywhere on the street we see people who are covered in paint and with water guns. And yesterday someone threw a water balloon at us. We both have our big camera with us today. So we really have to take care. Oh, yesterday there was a whole line with tuk-tuks. But today, not. We got one, but there is someone inside. <gasps> but he's gonna stop here, yes. We have to go here. As you can see, they're all covered with holy colors. <laughs> you got it? Yes. Yes, we can do it? Are you okay? How much? 150. 150, okay. We are in the tuk-tuk. It is only like five more minutes. Almost half of the people we see, they are covered in paint. We actually expected that holy was over but we're not sure about it now we are now on the highway because tuk-tuks can go here everywhere we hope we don't get any paint on us because we wear normal clothes and we cannot shower anymore um, someone is begging now we are seeing peacocks everywhere here in India and now I found this book about wildlife and there is a peacock again and it has a spiritual meaning, it's really interesting. By the way, we made it to a really really nice cafe, it's called Bond Coffee, Coffee Bond, and we ordered a smoothie bowl, I'm so excited, I hope it's gonna be nice. Now I just found this book here about wildlife, for me this is a way of visualizing my new goals and dreams and now I'm thinking already about going on a safari in Africa, I've never been there, I've never done something like that but if i see all those things i can really imagine myself seeing this okay this is not africa but i really really love to set big goals where i can look forward to because now my biggest goal was india now it's almost done so i should have something new look at my hands by the way the henna do you know how much susan and i love coffee and this is one of the best coffees i had in india and we have a juice as well apple beetroot carrot ginger let's try it i'm gonna try it Oh my god, this is so good. It really reminds me of Bali. Oh my god, that's fresh. Everything we needed. This is the smoothie bowl. We arrived at the next destination. Now the selfies are starting again. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Uh oh, uh oh, there we go. Oh, okay, many we people. Have we have to go, no, guys. Sorry. We, sorry. <laughs> we are at the next destination and we are surrounded by many people who also want a photo, but we're just saying no because we don't have so much time anymore. But look at this. This is the Red Fort. We don't have enough time and we really want to visit the spice market, so we're gonna go there after. But it's really nice to see this from the outside. Sorry, we cannot do that because we are in a rush. Next time. It's okay, thank you. If we say yes to one of them, they will all come. And it sounds a bit rude, but it's not gonna work out for us. Look, they're all covered in holy powder. Okay, I'm trying to ignore them, but it's so funny. Sorry, we cannot do that. Have a good day. Hello. We are back at the entrance, as you can see here. And we're gonna cross this crazy road. And there's still many people who have all the colors on them, but we didn't see anyone throwing them or throwing water. Ready? Yeah, I will close my bag as well. Oh my god, that's not funny. We have a lot of you on the bag. Is it dirty? It is, I have it on my face. Let's go fast, fast. So we now walked away from the Red Fort and we entered this street. But since yesterday we we're bringing ourselves in really weird situations. I think this is like one of the big homeless streets. Yeah, this is wild. This is raw. Daily, the old daily. So this is the old part of daily. 50. We do 50. 50? 50, yeah. 
बाहर के लोग हैं जरा जैसे ओके इट्स ओके सो वी आर नाउ फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन एन ऑफिशियल रिक्शा and that is that the guy is bicycling i'm also a little bit scared because people here have water balloons this is one of the craziest streets i've ever been in there are people everywhere laying sleeping i think many people live here without a home which is really sad but we definitely didn't plan to go here we just ended up here wow all the pigeons first market aage chandi chowk ha is right there aage ha ha yeah Okay. 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 If you know, we trust you. Maybe this is also better than this street. <laughs> wow. Hold your phone tight, please. <gasps> oh. We made a mistake. <laughs> It is really scary here. The spice market is closed. We just. I had a really weird experience but we are too scared to leave our camera outside so I will keep you updated when we're back The last two days really weird things happened There's just a guy with a gun to go here you know under m hamare jalo nahi to nahi okay never mind okay. you can bring us yeah no hello we need to go here one second amber in hotel okay beach hotel 20 minutes here just to me happy ole amber by orient hotel in delhi how much 300 300 yeah okay thank you this is the first time that i don't feel good here in india explain to you what happened we wanted to go to the spice market but unfortunately it's still holy and we were not aware of that we thought holy was over already and we are now in the capital of india delhi and we are our hotel is in new delhi and the spice market where we wanted to go is in old delhi we went there and our driver just dropped us off at the red fort and we told him that we wanted to go to the spice market but i think he didn't get it but because it's still holy almost everything was closed and holy is like a party that they celebrate here so many people were drunk they are throwing paints at each other they are throwing buckets with water to each other it's really wild probably you've seen the holy video but we went to a temple to celebrate holy so that's completely different than in a big city because the area where we ended up i think many people were on something or they were drunk they were all I don't know it was just really dirty and we didn't feel safe at all there were no other women there were so many people so everyone in the be in the beginning wanted to give us a ride and we said no 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 we don't need and then we walked into a street and we couldn't find any driver anymore so we took a driver like a rickshaw so the guy was still bicycling himself so we couldn't go so fast and that ride was really really bad because we were driving really slow everyone was looking at us there were no other foreigners only local people who were really drunk and covered with paint and it looks like they didn't have any control they were all a bit aggressive as well and it was just really really scary and then in the end of the that street we were maybe for five minutes in that street uh, we had to go up from the bicycle guy and we had to find another one and he said yeah the spice market is closed there were maybe 10 people coming to us because they all wanted something from us and we felt really really unsafe and we were as two foreigner women stuck there sort of and then we found another one and he drove us a little bit further and he dropped us off but that was also a horrible ride people also threw paint at us while we were sitting in the tuk tuk it was really really weird and now we made it safely back to the hotel but we're going to go to the airport straight away we are done with everything all our stuff is here we're going to book a taxi and we're going to go to the airport sit somewhere safe in a restaurant and go to kuala lumpur how do you feel 
a little bit better, but still not mm -hmm. good. It was really, really intense and hectic, and I don't recommend to go to Holy as two women alone. Yeah, be aware of that. I don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah, it was just like wrong place, wrong time. Yeah, and we didn't know. We made it in our Ola, that's like taxi company here, like Uber, to the airport, and I think it's only 10 more minutes, and then we arrive at New Delhi International Airport, and then we are gonna chill there for the night and. Do some work at the laptop, check in and make sure we don't miss our flight. I hope we can find a really nice cafe there. It's not how we expected to end this trip, but it's all fine. So we made it to the airport. We are way too early. You can only check in four hours before, so we still have to wait two and a half hours before we can check in. But I just found a Costa coffee behind me, so I'm gonna get Susan now. And then we're gonna go to the Costa coffee. And this is the airport here in Delhi. It's really busy. We arrived at the donut. Which one do you want? This one, this one. This one, this one. Uh, Are you serious? No, I want to have the glazed cinnamon for sure. That sounds so boring for me. I know, but I'm afraid that something weird is in here. Yeah, the custard, you can see it even. I don't want to have custard, that's why. So I'm going to go for the glazed one and this one. Wild! It reminds me of Jayco. I think I want this one and maybe I want dream car caramel dream cake. So we're, get we're getting two per person. We just ordered our donuts as at Krispy Kreme. I never had this, but look how good it looks. Oh yes, thank you. Oh, it comes in a box. We all have two or we both have two because we really need it and we deserve it. <laughs> we made it to Costa Coffee with the donuts. Susan will find me here hopefully. I put our bags here and we can see the big bag. I'm super excited to eat the donuts but I'm now in another company because the donuts are not from Costa but we will order a drink here anyway. But do you know that struggle? I think many of you know. Oh my god look at this it looks so good. We made it through the security. We have our bags and it took so long. Like first we had to do the passport check and then we had to do the bag luggage check and all those things and it took really really long. It's so busy here. I don't know exactly why. We're gonna look if we can find some food here. It's so nice. It feels more modern again, especially after this morning, which was a bit um, hectic. Oh, I love how it looks. It's my first time here. It's McDonald's. 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 Oh. McDonald's. <laughs> The only thing is, there's no cheeseburger because they don't have beef. They don't have beef, but that's okay. I'll do. <gasps> Subway, Subway Domino's. <laughs> what? Which one should we do? McDonald's, <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> the decision is made. Look, guys, it's so nice here. We made it upstairs. There's KFC, McDonald's, Domino's, Subway, and two other things that I don't know. And now we still have like two or three hours to wait until we can board our flight. She's gonna buy something from McDonald's and I'm not sure what I want yet. Maybe I want Subway or McDonald's or Domino's, but I will check it after she's back. I have my Domino's pizza and they even ask if you want oregano or chilies with it. He gave a lot, but I really like oregano, I think. And it looks really, really good. I'm super excited for this. So all the food things are upstairs, but now I'm downstairs because they don't sell any bottled water. They only have like soda or cola or 7-Up. And uh, we just want a bottle of water. So I'm now walking downstairs to look for some water. And I think I can find it here. I think they have some rules on the airport that they're not allowed to sell it or something. I don't know how it works, but we still have enough time and I'm bored. So I'm gonna walk. It is time, we're now walking to the plate. We checked the ticket for the last time. There we go, it's time to leave India. I really fell in love with India, but I'm happy to leave. <laughs> that sounds really weird. It's a five until six hours flight. Hello. I've never been in Malaysia, by the way. This is gonna be the first time. So I made it to the seat and I'm gonna end this video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We have a five and a half hours flight to Kuala Lumpur and then I see you in the next video in Kuala Lumpur. If you don't want to miss any of all my other videos, don't forget to subscribe down here and like this video if you liked it. And thank you for watching all the India videos. I hope you liked them. If you did, please let me know in the comments where I should travel next and then see you in the next video. Bye bye. Susan is scared, she's even holding herself. So they are stealing 100. Okay, okay, come, come. 100. Marta, what? Ah, yeah. Trambulan? Yeah. Ain't no problem here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Like the sky oh. <laughs>